What's up guys? You guys have been asking me how to make floating ornaments. So I am going to show you how to make floating ornaments. Uh, it is much easier than you probably think it is. And I love how they look because they honestly look like, like almost like a stained glass. Not really, but it's like a, a glossy sort of, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> Ignore me. Okay. But they look pretty cool and I love the look of it. And I'm, I'm excited to show you guys how to make it. Okay. Super easy. So I've gone ahead and made a template for you guys. You can go ahead and grab that over at my blog. I will link it in the description down below for you to go ahead and grab. All right, um, I'm going to load in my template here. Now, this template is perfect if you are buying the Dollar Tree or ornament, the, like the DIY bulbs, okay? It is perfect for the round ones. It is also perfect for the flatter looking ones. I will show you in a moment um, what they look like so you know what you're looking for when you're going to grab it. If you are getting them anywhere else, so from Michaels or from Walmart or wherever else, um, you double, you wanna double check and, uh, and do a test run before you waste transparency um, film on this, uh, but if you are using the Dollar Tree ones, this is ready for you to go. You don't have to make any sizing adjustments or worry about it not um, being the right size. So let's, let me show you how we're gonna customize this, okay? So here's a template that we've got here. And if you've watched my other ornament video, then you already know how to do this. Um, but if you haven't, I'm gonna quickly go over it. I'm gonna load over, I'm gonna load this image here. So this is an image of well, just my husband and my daughter. So I'm gonna bring that in. And it is a big file. So when you upload this, okay, you're gonna hit upload. You gotta make sure it's like a JPEG um, file that you are uploading or a PNG file. Um, so if you're having trouble with that, double check the type of file it is. Um, Cause I know some people were struggling with that. So Take a look at that and then you're, you're going to save the image as a print and cut when you're loading it in, okay? Now, I've resized this. I'm going to move that over that way. I'm going to place that on top. And what I always like to do is to create sort of a little template for myself. So I'm going to drag my image to the back and I'm going to change the line type of my ornament to draw. And this creates a nice little outline so I can see exactly what I'm looking at here. I'm going to make this maybe more of a red so I can see that a little bit better. Um, so now I know like what, oops, I don't want to readjust that size. Okay, so now I know how to resize um, my image to this ornament to, uh, to make it fit nicely, right, the way I want it. So I'm going to just quickly resize this. Awesome. And now I'm going to go back to cut. I'm going to grab these two layers and I'm going to slice. And now you should have your template, which we can hide. And you should have your, your outline, like this is the excess, right? So you can delete that. And we have our final slice result, which is perfect. And it should say cut print, because that's what we want. <laughs> All right, next we are going to go to make it. And you are going to print and cut this using transparency film, okay? So um, I, will, I will have a link in the description where you can get transparency film. You can basically get it at like Staples. If you remember like back in the old days, they had like the overhead projectors and they had like the transparency films in class. I don't know if they still do that in class anymore, um, but that's pretty much what we're using for this project. So with the transparency film, there's like a, there's a smoother side and more of a gritty side and you want to print on the grittier side. Okay. So set up your printer in a way that's going to print on the gritty side. Cause that's the side that the ink will stick to. And, um, and yeah, what I'm actually going to do is mirror this because, uh, the shiny side kind of looks nicer for the actual image. So this will, this will print on the back side where it's the gritty side and then you flip it over and you'll have the shiny side, which will show like how you, how, you know, how your picture was actually laid out, okay? So I'm going to mirror that. I'm going to go ahead and print and cut this. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna show you just quickly how to pop into our ornament. All right, so I have printed out 
um, my image on transparency film. Now, uh, when you're gonna do the cut component, what I've done is I've actually taken a white sheet of paper. It just makes it so it cuts easier because it's on the white instead of the green, so it can read the lines a little bit better. And I'm actually gonna tape that right down, okay? So I did not trim the actual side that I, I like cut it out, like I printed it out on. I only trimmed the excess part. Oops, that goes this way. Um, so I'm going to line that up and I'm going to tape that down with some painter's tape and then I'm going to cut that out. Okay, so now I've cut it out. It looks awesome. And here is the ornament that I was talking about. So we've got... We've got the round ornament that we use to make like glitter ornaments with, and then we've got this one that's like a flatter ornament. Um, and both of these can be found at Dollar Tree. I have sized everything for the Dollar Tree ornaments. If you are buying them elsewhere, you will have to take a look to make sure that the template will fit. But this is perfect for the Dollar Tree ornaments. And I actually really like this flatter one better for this project in particular. Um, I just find it looks more... Uh, like this look, it gives, it gives it too much space in between the actual floating image and like the outer, the outer plastic where this one, it just, it looks nicer because it looks more like a, I can't describe it. It's like almost like a, like a glass stone. Um, anyways, so you're going to take your image, you're going to curl it up and see there's a little top here, right? We're going to grab that. We're going to stick that in there. And I just use my finger. So however you curled it, I kind of just press on the other side. So if you curled it like one way, then press on the other side to help flatten it out. And it should fit like perfectly, as you can see there. Look at that. Let me put that on a white sheet of paper for you to see. Here, you can see that a little bit better on the white there. And now when you're popping the, um, the lid back in, like this is where the, like the picture is, right? So with the little spools here, like the little pointy parts, just put it the other way and push that in. That way it's not hitting the actual uh, transparency film. So take a look at that. Doesn't that look like one of those like glass stones, right? That you, that you can put images on. Anyways, I love how this turned out. It looks really, really cool. Um, I hope you like it too. <laughs> If you did, give this video a thumbs up, and I will catch you next time. Let me know what else you guys want to think. See you guys. <laughs> Bye.